Yeet, peep, wheat, eat your Wheaties. We're here. Uh, we're doing, it's a leg day, it's Friday, so this is a little weird. We're here in the morning. Uh, it's 12.30, right, I'm usually working. But, surprise, surprise, we're going to Florida, flying out tonight. Uh, I'll explain why after the gym session, but we're here right now. We're doing legs, we got a front squat. Uh, we have either a three by eight or a four by eight. Uh, so given today is the last day that I'll be training for the weekend up until Monday, uh, I'm just kind of like winging it. Uh, so we did front squats, obviously, but then I want to do like accessories I don't I don't normally do. So I'm going to be recording the full workout. Um, and I probably won't pick back up, honestly, until we touch down in Florida. So by the time you watch this, I'm going to be in Florida already. So I'm going to record most of the workout. It's actually surprisingly busy in the gym which I'm really thrown off at uh, because it's a Friday. I would think people would be working, but nonetheless, we're gonna finish up front squats. We're gonna move towards the lunges. And then I'm assuming, I'm gonna do the occasional leg extension and hamstring curl, but I'll probably throw in RDLs or maybe good mornings and then some Bulgarian. So we'll see, I'm, like today is the one day I'm giving myself to go off program, quote unquote, and do the movements I don't normally do to see if maybe it sparks something or like uh, whether I can connect to the specific muscle group a little better and see if I could choose it back into another cycle. Cause once I get back from Florida, we are jumping on a new block. So yes, I'm gonna stop talking. We're gonna go front squat and then we'll move on with the rest of the workout. All right, so we finished lunges and front squats. Uh, we're moving on. I'm doing uh, lying hamstring curls and then individual hamstring curls on the leg extension, just like flipped. Uh, we're feeling really good. So we're tracking up until today. Uh, I have a meal for after the gym. I'm going. We're going to make something after the gym, and then I'm going to make a meal right before. The flight's at like four or five, uh, we're leaving at four or five, so I'm gonna try to get all my macros in for today. And then I was playing with the idea of controlling macros in Florida, but for the past like three, four days, I've kind of um, undercut myself so I could do whatever out there and uh, just not really worry about it. Like if I eat over, no big deal, I'll just pull over from the opposite days. But the main trip, the main idea for Florida is just go down there, clear my head. Uh, we were in Connecticut last night. 
uh, just seeing how everything is going. Um, but the reason why I've been like so like MIA with YouTube and everything and why like Florida is going to be one of my biggest turning points is because I'm going out there to clear my, clear my head. I want to know what is it exactly I want to do with fitness, what is it ex or like in terms of like bodybuilding and all that. What is it I want to do with the gym? What is it I want to do with work? What is it I want to do with mental decisions? Like, like just literally stuff like that. Uh, I'm not going out there to figure it out. I'm literally leaving everything on hold. If I could leave my phone home, I would. And I'm just going out there and relaxing. I'm bringing the camera because I want to hold myself accountable with all this stuff. Um, but pretty much once I come back from Florida, it's a big, it's a big flip. Um, hopefully my regular work career uh, would take a little bit less of a load or take more of a load off because now um, we're officially able to help Mikey, um, me and Nando. So we're gonna be literally at the gym now more often and getting more benefits and shit like that. Um, and it's just a long time coming. I don't wanna get too sentimental. Like I said, I'm gonna finish the workout, but that, that's the goal for Florida. I'm not going out there with macros or this or that or like i'm going out there to like radio silence everybody um and it's just for the weekend i come back monday um and then that monday i come back yeah everything changes and for the better so i have to make some important choices important decisions that i really don't want to think of at this current moment because i'm sure i'll be reflecting when i actually touch down in florida so we just finished lunges we're gonna go hamstring curls single and double i feel great i had my regular tuna concoction this morning it's a funny word gobble gobble i do feel great though um and it's a little weird because i am uh this is a really weird time i've never i haven't traded this early in like weeks so okay bye Right, we're done um i don't even know what we did but we're done with the leg day so right plot tis tist <laughs> we took the gtr out as like a one last ride before we get away um okay uh so we gotta go get like travel size bottles so we're gonna go do that um I'm waiting for the car to warm up right now uh, I was gonna wash the car before we left. Um, I just want to say thanks to all the people who reached out about the car and like the reveal because I didn't reveal it to the YouTube world and there's some people who are following me on uh, YouTube that are not on Instagram and vice versa. So I'm just gonna keep linking the two until you guys learn your fucking lesson. Um, but yeah, no, seriously, thank you for the DMs and the reach outs and the likes and the, I don't think there was any comments, but the likes and the thumbs up and the private direct messages. I appreciate that. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna get the show on the road. It's like 1.45, 2 o'clock. We're gonna go to Harmon's. We gotta get the little travel size bottles for like the liquids and shit. We're gonna finish packing. And then that's it, I'm gonna head to my friend's house and then we are gonna eat and then we're gonna go from there. So I have a meal packed today, um, or like from the week uh, and it ends today. So I have the last meal today. Um, and I'll show you guys the macros of what we've been hitting and what I plan on hitting for a few more weeks. Um, that's when we get to the house. I'll show you what macros we're running. Uh, I want to pinpoint and go from there where I'm at with weight and everything and stuff like that. We're going to catch everything up. And um, when we get to the house and we're actually settled, like when everything's packed and all we have to do is relax. So we'll pick up there. Okay, so, so training's been going well and everything. Uh, I was just wa re watching the last clip to see what's going on. So, training's going well, eating's going well, macro's been to a T, which I'll actually show you right now because now that I'm talking out loud, it's kind of re coming back to me. So, my macros have been. 
I gotta go back a few days because, uh, because I definitely am not hitting it this weekend. So this is where I'm normally at, which is, boom, let's see, this is gonna focus. So you can pause it on the screen, but we're doing two, 210 to 220 grams of protein, 300 carb, and 95 to 100 fat. Um, still maintaining 155, uh, and like slowly losing, right, because activity's going up, weather's getting better, so more active with the car, more active with, um, photography, vlogging, all that stuff, um, just as a whole, I want to start doing it a lot more, and we took more control of a scenario, so it's, right, with more control, you take out variables and stuff like that, so training's been going really well. Um, it's just everything's been up in the air, not up in the air, but just a lot of a lot of inconsistency with this stuff because um, training's been at an all-time high, eating's been at an all-time high. Um, it's just a lot of things happen in uh, like per, in the personal work world, um, along with the gym stuff. So again, that stuff takes precedence. But I don't want to I don't want to keep using that stuff as an excuse. I want to dedicate time to this. It's what I like to do. Um, it helps a lot of, or not a lot of people, helps some people. Um, and honestly, even if it helps just one person, that'd be dope. But um, yeah, the main reason for this trip is just kind of realign myself, I guess, if you would say. Just to make sure I know why I'm doing what I'm doing. I know why I'm doing what I'm doing, but just the reason why I took a sporadic trip like this and I didn't tell anybody was because when I can just go radio silent or just like shut the world off for a little bit, um, I mean, it's only for a week and I'm back on Monday um, and it's already Friday, well, Friday night, Saturday morning. It's like 1 a.m. Um, we landed at like 1030, but by the time we walked around, got to the, the uh, got to the hotel and everything and settled down, um, it's now, this time. The reason why like even when we did Lake George, um, even though I was still close to home, um, I haven't done a trip like this in a while because we've just been running through the floor with the gym. Um, and even with my personal work stuff outside of the gym, just trying to get a lot of things in order. And, and right priorities, I'm trying to do some big things. We're lining up a lot of stuff, but going back to why I took this trip, um, when I can get away from everything, I mean everything, and like now I'm away from the car and everything too, I'm able to like just free my mind. And I know that sounds kind of like corny or cliche, but like realistically, while I'm away, whatever I can't stop thinking about while I'm away, and I'm not talking about like priorities, this, this, and that. I mean like not that I'm not, but like it's a vacation, right? So I'm turning the world off. But whatever like I can't stop, like oh my God, I can't wait to get back to it. Um, that's what I want. So I have to decide this weekend if we're doing, if we're still doing a show. It's been up in the air. How far I want to take things with the gym. I had that talk with Mike. Um, work. I got some, I got another business opportunity venture whatever you want to call it that I can't speak on just yet and I've been throwing the idea of personal training around so like right a lot of good a lot of good stress I'll say I'll label it like that um actually well no stress is good good problems I guess to have maybe um and yeah I just want to realign myself with like what like why I'm doing what I'm doing do I want to still go down this route of like really stepping on stage or just, is it just a hobby? Is it just this? Is it just that? Cause I had that talk with myself a while ago about cars. Um, and a really, really hard talk, um, you know, again, by myself, but uh, it cleared a lot of things up for me and I was able to achieve uh, the GTR and whatever the future holds for me. So I need stuff like this to get away. Um, and just, yeah, realign myself with my goals. Just really, I mean, because as soon as I get, as soon as I touch back in New York, 
that's it. I mean, Mike hits the f ground running with Connecticut. Um, did you guys hear that? <laughs> and I practically got to take hold of Scarzel as much as I can, um, or as much as I can to ease his load. Um, and then see with responsibility in terms of like, can I still realistically step on stage? Like, it, like, can I do that this year? That's a real question. It's not a cop-out, it's a real question. This shit takes a lot of stress. I see from Mike's perspective, we were talking on a little today before we, before I left. Mike's like, I don't even get to work out. And right, he's the business owner, so like, you know, like you can't really complain about that. I mean, like you can, right? But like, it'd be, it's like tedious to complain about it, right? But like, I look at him and I'm like, not in a bad way, but I'm like, do I want that? Or do I want to step into the realm of not being an influencer? Because that, that's, I'm not looking to influence anybody. Like, not directly. Like, if what I do influences you, great. But I'm not, by definition, an influencer. Like, get the fuck out of here with that shit. Um, like, it, like, am I going to be able to do both? Do I want to do both? These are like questions that have been lingering for some time and I, I can't directly answer them when I'm flooded with, with everything that's going on with work and at home and the car stuff. So I needed to take a break from it all. Uh, the trip had been planned for quite some time. Didn't tell anybody about it. Um, I think I told Mike maybe last month and I told Mike last month, right? Cause like I wanted to give him a, a little bit, I had a little bit of a grace period cause I was gonna be away for the weekend. But yeah, just getting away from it all. Just getting away from it all. I'm really thankful. I'm really, I'm really, really extremely grateful for everything. For the cars, for this, for that. Um, and this, man, th this. Like, do I want to do this? That video opened up, like, I can't tell you the messages that I got from some of you guys about revealing the uh, the LMGT ones, the wheels. And like, I've had them for months, right? But like IG is just an easier workflow. But like, will IG actually help? Like, that's what I'm thinking about. Like, what, like should I just stop doing Instagram or should I do YouTube? Not stop doing Instagram, but like stop promoting it that much and do this. Because this is a lot more of a workflow anyway. Um, But man, like that, that video, like, again, I I just, I got really, emo not emotional, emotional in a good way, but like there's really people watching me, there's really people counting on me. And I know I'm gonna look back on this in a few years or a few months, shit, whatever, at this growth, um, who knows. But like, it just, it's crazy that like, people around the world, like this guy from Australia told me that he, and I put it up on my story. I'm pulling it up, hold on. Well, I put it on my story a while ago, but he posted it. Hold on. But this guy in Australia literally DM'd me, mind you, across the world, the power of social media. Oh, I swear to God, if this doesn't load. Um, but literally, it's loading right now told me that like i've been searching for wheels so and so for this long hold on it's loading he's like i've been okay uh, it's loading right now all right right here i'm gonna block out his name because i don't know if uh if he's cool with that but but literally like guys australia like australia I'm in New York, <laughs> and it's so much harder here. It's so much harder here to get everything he has there. Um, and then he t he's like telling me that like, like that he I, like I'm inspiring him and I'm inspiring his build and this and that. Like that's crazy. That's crazy. That blows my mind. Now I don't know if he watches these videos. Uh, if you if you do comment, um absolutely nuts i mean he, he met me through and not met me but like he followed me through instagram i guess like comp kind of the same car right literally the same dark blue pearl and the same wheels now um 
insane in like you can't make that stuff up that's wild it's beyond my wildest dreams but just guys just keep working hard just keep um i mean that's just the best that's the best way to put it honestly it's not this shit is not rocket science just you got to show up every day i mean it's just like I mean, lazy people are doing a, a little bit of work and complaining why they're not winning. And the winners are working around the clock, 16, 17, 18 hours a day, and wondering if, like, there's still more to be done. They're questioning if they're lazy. We're working 16, 17, 18 hours a day, and we're questioning if we're lazy. I hate to say it, guys, but just become a different breed. That's a corny ass way to say it, but just simple shit like that, guys. I haven't really reflect. I mean, just a little. I mean, I'm telling you why I took the trip. I haven't really reflected too much, um, but this is literally the first night here. Thanks for tuning in. We're gonna check back in tomorrow and Sunday, and probably Monday. We're gonna the next vlog will probably just be in Florida. Like this was New York to Florida touchdown in Florida. Why I'm telling you. And what we're like why I came here. And then the next video will be a full reflection on a lot of decision making. So guys, surprise. It's one o'clock. It's dark. I think the girls are asleep. We're gonna get back to the room. We gotta rest. We're gonna be up in the morning. So we got two days of parks. Um, tomorrow, Sunday. I, I wanted to go to the pool so bad tonight. Because where we're staying. We're staying at, what is it? Not, uh... They're like, uh, not, uh... Like they do the All-Star, the... Animations, the... Fuck, I forgot which one we're at. And they told me. Um... But yeah, like they're different like themes, right? And then we're staying at a certain one. The pool closed at 11 p.m. I was like, I want to get a late night swim, but like, forget it. I don't even know if masks are a thing down here. I think they are for the park, which I'm just like over it, but fuck. If I don't turn a different shade of white, I'm going to fuck somebody up. I literally brought baby oil. And I can't even be fucking shirtless. Like, I just realized we're going to be in the park. I tried so hard in New York because it's hot as shit in New York right now. It went from, like, 40 to 90 degrees in New York with no with no grace period. Um, but I was, like, like I'm wearing sweaters in New York trying not to get, like, farmer's tans and shit. And I just realized we're going to be in a park all day. So that I, that's why I brought, like, the cutoff. I guess it's better than a regular, just a regular, like, arm farmer's tan, but whatever. I tried. Maybe I'll just sleep outside by the pool. Who knows? All right, but we're going to wrap this one up here. We'll catch you guys in the next day or so. Your next video will be reflections and all that. So, And I'll be a different color, so fuck it. Peace out.